Bismillah alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We move on to the second juz or the second para of the Quran and this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says sayaqulu sufaha. And so this second juz or para starts off with Allah's statement sayaqulu sufaha. Uh, the foolish ones, they will say. And basically, these verses in Surah Al-Baqarah uh, are pertaining to the change of the Qibla. And so, the Muslims in the beginning, they used to face Bayt al-Maqdis in Jerusalem when they used to pray. And then Allah commanded them to change their direction of prayer. And the command to change the direction in uh, prayer came in these verses in Surah Al-Baqarah. And so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us uh, about the changing of the Qibla and how now we must face the Kaaba in Mecca. But also Allah tells us about the reaction of the Jews and how the Jews reacted uh, to the change of the Qibla. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ends these verses by mentioning that what is most important is not uh, the physical change of the Qibla, but rather uh, that which is related to piety, al-birr, and at-taqwa, and righteousness. That is what is more important for us to be focusing on, rather than the physical uh, change in the direction of our prayer. The rest of this juz, and the rest of this, uh, in the rest of this para, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, basically uh, tells us about uh, some of the legislations of Islam. And so, uh, in these verses, in this uh, juz, in this para, we have many, many different uh, legislations which are related to uh, chapters of fiqh, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala laid out for us uh, what is halal and what is haram, and what are some of the uh, legislations of, the, uh, of Islam regarding various issues. Among these legislations, is that which is related to uh, al-qisas, which is retribution, retribution uh, for those who uh, get uh, for for murder or uh, for cutting off someone's limb. What is the retribution for that? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala also mentions the legislations uh, related to fasting. In fact, uh, al-siyam or fasting. There is no other place in the Quran where it is mentioned uh, in detail, like it is mentioned in these verses. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu kutiba alaykum al-suyam. Also, we have the legislations related to al-hajj in quite some detail. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about uh, some of the legislations related to al-hajj. Uh, also, we have legislations related to marriage and divorce mentioned in detail in these verses uh, of Surah Al-Baqarah. And also we have legislations related to Al-Jihad and fighting. Kutiba alaykum al-qital, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in these verses. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding these legislations, He also uh, mentions about uh, some of the uh, wisdoms related to these legislations and how uh, although with regards to some of these things, we may be opposed to them, but there is much good in them. There is much good in them. Uh, also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these verses uh, of Surah Al-Baqarah, He uh, mentions regarding uh, how to react when we are afflicted with something. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about uh, the mujahidun, who fight in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if they are martyred we should not say that they are dead but rather they are alive and then Allah says that if you are afflicted with something then uh, you, or rather Allah tells us about those who are afflicted with an affliction a musibah how they would react they would react by saying inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un and they would be patient and their reward is great. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions all of this in these verses. Finally, towards the end of this juz, the end of this para, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
uh, tells us about uh, the famous story of Dawood uh, and his fight uh, with Jalut, with Goliath. And so uh, the believers were few who were with Dawood but yet uh, they went out and they fought and even though they were few in number they had a huge victory uh, you know uh, being victorious over uh, Goliath over Jalut and the whole lesson that we derive from this story is that even if your numbers are few but your Iman is high and you put your uh, trust in Allah and you direct you know you leave your affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he will be your aid and he is the one who will give you victory and so this should be uh, a very uh, you know huge reminder uh, for us Muslims today who we see around us what our Muslim brothers and sisters are going through uh, of oppression of killing of raping and so on and so forth and yet you know although we are very weak uh, the victory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come if and when we uh, you know raise our iman and turn back to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for although we are weak uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who provides victory to his believing slaves with that we will conclude uh, here and insha'Allah ta'ala we will continue in the next session on to uh, the third juz or the third para. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.